people that have friends, how? Go to things. Keep going to them, no matter how anxious you feel. If you keep showing up and keep participating, you will eventually find like-minded individuals. Also, in addition to this, don't be a bad person. Don't stalk people, don't harass people, don't mock people, don't make people feel less than you, or like you are sexualizing them. Literally skip the get to know you stage. One of my best friends is my friend, because after a final exam I stood outside the exam room and said do you want to go get food to everyone who came out until someone said yes. I didn't even know her name. Or, as another example, book clubs, group therapy, religious services, etc. puts people in situations of openness slash connection before, in a typical friendship, that would be earned. Say yes to any invitation. What if you go and end up awkwardly alone because nobody knows you? Strike up a conversation. I know it's probably much harder than it sounds, and you might not gain a friend out of it, but it will at least teach you to come out of your comfort zone and talk to people. People with board games are desperate for friends to play with. Gives you good motivation to be friendly, like being a missionary, to hook people to your hobby, except they don't pay anything or do much to be your friend. I love board games, I wish I had someone to play them with. Have you checked your local game slash comic book store? A lot of them have a room where you can go and play for free. If you're a little awkward, like me, buy something from the store and ask the clerk about any regulars. CFS slash he'll introduce you to them. A lot of people so far have said to open up and don't be afraid, do that but also just be a genuine nice person. Show people that you care about them. Do what you can to help the people around you. Source, I play a lot of RPGs. First step, be willing to be open yourself up. You will be hurt. I can guarantee you that. But if you want friends or romance you have to open yourself up. Because if you don't open up, others won't open up. Step 2, start a conversation. Be charismatic and don't be afraid to show emotions or opinions. Don't be a blank slate. Let people form an opinion around you. Step 3, if it's a group conversation, make yourself visible. Too many times I just didn't say anything in those conversations. I wasn't visible. Step 4, if you're cringy or awkward embrace it. People relate to that, and that can easily be a conversation topic. There are many more steps, but these four are incredibly important. Good luck. One thing I would add is to be positive. You can be open, but don't talk about your hates and how things suck, especially when you first meet people. Nobody likes a downer. We all have our dislikes in life, just save it for an appropriate time. An extrovert finds you and adopts you. How do I sign up for adoption? Unfortunately it seems like a lottery system, I was just lucky enough to get picked before they knew what happened. Step 1. Go to an animal shelter. Step 2. Fill out an adoption application. You now have the greatest friend in the world for the next decade. I posted this a while back, but your comment really made me think about it. When I was about 10 years old my parents and I were in our backyard clearing out a ton of weeds that had gotten out of hand. I had trouble focusing because our next door neighbor had this really adorable puppy and all I wanted to do was play with him. We found out that they were actually going to take him to an animal shelter because their son was not taking care of him like he promised. I decided to ask my parents if maybe we could get him instead. I was an only child and never really have anyone to play with unless a friend would come over and the thought of having a puppy to play with whenever I wanted to was great. My parents agreed and our neighbors offered to sell him to us for $20. I had that saved up and immediately agreed and promised I care for him and love him forever. So, he became my puppy, my brother, and after a few days of debating I named him Snoopy. Snoopy became my closest friend. He made me laugh, played with me, and would just hang out and watch TV with me. He was always there for me, especially through some tough times in my life, where I was extremely self-destructive. He saved me from myself. He was there at my side through tough breakups where all I ever wanted to do was lay in bed. 
He was an amazing friend. He was there to see me graduate 8th grade, high school, and college. I hoped he would be there on the day I got married, and maybe be around for when I had kids, but unfortunately as much as we wish for things, sometimes they don't happen. Find a hobby, any hobby works, but hobbies that have a social aspect are best. Meet people in that hobby, either locally or online. Local clubs are your best bet, but online forums or subreddits can work. Interact with those people, the more frequently the better. Don't overdo it, once or twice a week works best in the beginning. You now have the beginning of a friendship. Keep investing time into it, so it can keep growing. I've met most of my friends, and my so, through hobbies, they're really the best way for socially awkward people to make friends. Being socially awkward, and going alone to a local club you've never been to sound, like they don't belong into the same sentence. That's also the reason, why Op is asking that question. Edit, a lot of people are replying with what essential is just do it. That's not how it works. That's like telling a depressed person they should just be happy instead, or hungry Frenchmen, that they should just eat cake, if they don't have bread. At the beginning, you have to treat it like a job. You go because you'll get paid, down the road, in friendships, hopefully. You just have to say I know this isn't what I really want to be doing tonight, but I'll still go. Bring something interesting, or have an interesting story to tell. People are going to say, be easy going and funny, and they are not wrong. So I'll just pitch in, and comment that it helps to be generally curious about other people. Ask them questions about who they are, and what they think of things. Don't be afraid to open yourself up as well. All friendships are based on the simple activity of conversation. This. My mom always taught me, if you want people to like you, get them talking about themselves. I'm surprised your tidbit wasn't higher in the comments. Force them of course. We bribe our friends with food, play time for their kids with our kids, sometimes beer or wine, and try to take an interest in their lives. Ask questions, remember important things about them like what they like to eat and drink, what they don't like or can't have, shows they watch, or books they read, if they have anything important, or interested coming up. Then just talk about those things or common interests. Just give of yourself, and the right people will appreciate that and reciprocate. If it's not, then they aren't the right people for you, and that's okay, and you can move on. Just give because you want to, not because you're expecting something in return. I'm not swimming in friends, because this is a long ass process sometimes, but I do, have a reliable group I care for and that's enough. Have you read the Friendship Mountain blog post? I forget the name of it, but it's a good read. All my friends have resulted from meeting them in circles that I participate in, school, work, or church. I have also ended up with some friends d that were previously friends of friends. It takes effort. Friendship is a two-way street. If you want friends bring something to the relationship. Your presence is not enough. All the friendless people I know have this problem. What do you mean by bring something? Not necessarily a physical thing, but you could be the guy that brings in homemade cookies to work every week and eventually start conversations with people about cooking slash baking. Have an interesting hobby that you can share, like playing an instrument and finding randos to play with. Become a gym bro and make friends with fellow brothers at said gym. Really, you just want to be able to provide interesting information to a friendship. Don't go out looking for cool slash fascinating people to hang out with. Make yourself interesting by cultivating interests and people will appreciate you a whole lot more vs the nice guy that comes into work every week but no one knows anything about them. I used to spit on people walking into the publics one day one of them spit back we've been friends every since. Being a friendly one and reaching out. Friends don't happen automatically. Even if some people come to you that are friendly, you need to actually make mutual effort there. If you rely on other people constantly putting the effort for anything, you're going to end up bitter and feel like people stopped caring about you when they don't reach out. Friendships are two ways. That all being said, some people don't want to make it mutual either, and you're just going to have to accept that they don't want a higher level of friendship that you do. 
I find the more mutual the emotions, actions, and anything given into a platonic relationship, the closer it is. So there are very simple steps to actually convincing people to like you below our said steps. Be a good person. Find a passion. Learn someone's name. Reiterate that you know their name by using it. Ask them for very small favors. Pass me a pencil. Ask them for progressively larger favors until you feel comfortable asking them to spend time with you. Once you have had one hangout outside of your hobby, you must meet certain criteria to establish a friendship. If during any of the following you must cancel you must do so in a reasonable time frame. If you can't accept a hangout it is your responsibility to come up with an alternative option or the same option at a later date. During the first month you must spend at least 3 hours with them outside your hobby once a week. During the next 2 months you must maintain at least one hangout per month outside of your hobby. During the next 6 months you must hang out with them at least once, while maintaining contact with them at least once a month, to see what they have been up to. The maintenance phase is entered after 6 to 12 months, and is the easiest phase. Once a year hangout is generally mandatory, depending on your relationship, but all you have to do is check up with them to keep updated on big events in their lives and wish them happy birthday slash good luck slash congratulations. Basically let them know they are important to you and that you are still thinking about them on a regular basis.